Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters Money Podcast. I'm your host, Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Come an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Ashley Elster on the line, and she's COO and founder over at Artery Pay. Ashley, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Adam. We're really happy to be on the show today. So I'm excited to get into today's talk, so some of the challenges uh, that, that cannabis companies face in banking. But before we do that, uh, let's just start off with an overview of what you're doing over at Artery Pay. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Sure, very happy to. So Artery Pay works on unifying the compliance that's involved in financial institution work um, as well as transactions so that you you have the data flow um, not being uh, interrupted basically by um, – by additional hands having to touch it, and it gets to where it's supposed to go in the compliance department, like almost immediately. And so you don't have any separation between the systems, which ends up uh, decreasing the cost for financial institutions to do things like supporting the, the cannabis space, where where really um, the compliance that's associated with banking it is, is very challenging and very um, involved. Um, and so what we do, how we how we do this is we have a an easy-to-use Venmo-like platform um, that basically the user downloads it like any other digital wallet, um, connects it to their bank account through a streamlined process where they where they um, input, input their their mobile banking credentials rather than in any way putting in their their actual bank data like the accounting number, mm. the account number, and the routing number, which is you know of course that's private. You you really want to keep that secure. Um, and securely encrypts all of that information going back and forth and provides a ledger-based system in the, the back office side of it to make it very easy to integrate into other systems as well as transact digitally through your, your uh, mobile phone at any cannabis dispensary. So super, are, super simple for the consumer, even though it sounded like a complicated explanation. What are some of the challenges that the, that that you're finding, or that the the industry in general is is finding in banking? Because I don't think any everybody listening may or may not be aware of those. Right. Um, so the challenge to banking cannabis is uh, is multifaceted. Um, financial institutions are uncomfortable with it for a number of reasons. One of which, of course, is the reputation that's associated with it. Um, secondly, uh, they they name the federal prohibition, but really that's actually a logical gap between they can and they won't, mm-hmm. right? Like they mm-hmm. they sorry they can't and they won't. Um, and then um, the final piece to this that's very challenging actually is the compliance burden that has been put on financial institutions for working with the space. And so that sounds like I'm coming at it from the other end of it, right? But this is the thing. In understanding why, where a problem originates, you really need to go to the source of, of the problem. And that's really the cost of compliance. Because every single transaction that happens that's related to cannabis has to be reported to government. Every single one. And that's not the case with any other industry. Any type so, of trends that you're noticing on the, on the, on the tech side of things uh, for, for solving these banking problems? So that's the problem. Actually, no. No, there's not a lot of tech solutions that are out there except for what we're providing. Um, and, you know, our platform that the banks are looking at um, has been described by, you know, general counsels and chief compliance officers at various banks um, as Verifin on steroids. Verifin is a, a very strong compliance group um, that originally originated out of Canada. And what they provide basically is some automation to the financial, uh, basically anti-money, un, sorry, anti-money laundering bank secrecy act compliance that goes along with the mm-hmm. space. Um, and they do not actually operate in the cannabis space. So when you start looking at technology trying to catch up in general, banks mm-hmm. have not really had any updates to their back office infrastructure in over 50 years. Wow. I mean, that's, it's incredible. It's truly incredible that so much of this is still coded in COBOL, which um, is something that isn't even taught in computer science anymore. It's not even wow. taught. 
That's that uh, I mean that that's striking. It's just one of those things. Those legacy systems. It's uh, yes. it's hard for you know to move to these big institutions and get them uh, up to date. So I hope that's why a lot of these challenger banks and just cha- these smaller thing um, banks. I've seen it with these integrations. And I'll, I I was working with one the other day. I had them on the show, and they were talking about like deeper integrations into their into the bank and like how things were automatically done. And I'm like, oh my gosh, could I imagine like a Zapier integration at Bank of America? Okay. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, and this is the thing. FinTech actually is able to solve a lot of the challenges um, that are associated with the high cost of mm-hmm. banking the campus space. And so what we've done, everybody on my team is coming from the financial space. My background is financial institution law and operations. Um, my compatriot there, we've got one that was a former investment banker and actually was also the uh, chief operating officer for Deviant Art before they were acquired by Wix. So he's got a very good beat on the consumer engagement side as well. Um, and I think we've got some very exciting things to actually shift the marketing of financial institutions as well, um, the way that they interact with their consumers, but that's down the road. Um, as for um, our, C- our chief technology officer, he's an old, um, old school IBMer who designed systems for, you know, the Department of Defense and the, and the FBI and um, did, did anti-money laundering um, software deployments across Wells Fargo and designed transaction um, systems for Bank of America. So like, this is a guy who really knows what he's doing. I really know what I'm doing. Um, and we know where the challenges come from. And this is actually not a legal challenge. This is, like you said, a legacy system challenge. Um, and you know, what we're able to do with our platform is give your compliance team back like 80% of their time. So wow. the admin, the administrative work that goes into this, uh, we are able to really streamline that process for them um, such that, you know, the MRB program, MRB stands for a Marijuana Related Business Program, um, that is that is able to be streamlined and pretty effectively done with, you know, much, much fewer staff. Um, and that's the thing. Compliance in the back office of financial institutions is already way, way overworked because of the amount of administrative work and busy work that they're required to do as a part of the function of their position. Which might, I mean, which it's, may be, which may definitely be an understatement to all the compliance people out there. We get it. We're sorry. Yeah. They're, they're uh, companies yeah. like amazing companies like Artery Pay are working hard to try to make your your um your life easier because uh, I know we know yeah. every year they they dump new rules and regulations and you just have to do it. <laughs> yes, and um, to make them feel better about their situation, I understand that the reason why a lot of of uh, financial institutions have not wanted to shift is because of, uh, really, they don't want to do the update because they really see it as a cost and not as a revenue generator. Well, now you've got a revenue generator actually tacked on top of that compliance cost. So we think that, you know, by using, by providing a solution that makes the the um, cannabis banking system so much easier for them and so much more straightforward and streamlined, that we're going to be able to get them to adopt this, you know, as a, basically as an entry point for helping, you know, modernize the rest of their compliance infrastructure as well. That's That's the goal. That's the long, long, long long-term goal. (laughs) No, I love it. Um, So if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Artery Pay, um, what's the best way for them to, to follow up? Sure. Um, So they should check out www.arterypay.com. Um, and actually, our product, uh, the payment product, this very simple Venmo payment product, Venmo style, sorry, uh, payment product, um, is going to be available in Massachusetts and Nevada very, very soon, probably in the first half of the year. Um, and it will be available to your purchases in dispensaries as well as making purchases online to streamline if you wanted to go pick up or if you wanted delivery. Um, this is going to be a much simpler way to do things. It's very easy to use. Um, you can actually download the app through Google Play and the App Store, the, you know, iTunes App Store. Um, and uh, it is no cost to the consumer, no cost. So, you know, they've been paying a lot either with debit or they've been having to go through through ATMs and have, being charged those fees. This is no fee to the consumer. And yeah, it's, it's very, um, it's also simple business, uh, business, like small business pricing. 
think square rates of, you know, 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so small business rates, we don't agree with using high risk rates because it, it's uh, basically incentivizes people to try to say that they're doing other things in order to get a cheaper rate. Um, mm -hmm. that's kind of, I mean, we're, we're just doing our best to try to give everybody a very transparent, very easy to use system that's going to make this, this problem go away. That's awesome. It's perfect. Um, well, hey, Ashley, thanks again for coming on the show. Um, love to hear all, all the great stuff you're doing over at Artery Pay and uh, kind of greasing the wheels of banking over there and making people stay compliant and all great things there. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, then give that a subscribe and uh, leave us some comments in the, in the comment section. Love to hear what you're up to also. And uh, Ashley, thanks again for coming on the show.